So unbeknownst to me, the effort to rehabilitate Rudy Giuliani's career is already underway. I mean, it's been a little more than a year since he tried to end democracy in the United States with his coup attempt with Donald Trump. But apparently, um, at least one network is already willing to... To move on. So he is going to be featured in an upcoming episode of a show called The Masked Singer. Now, I thought that I never heard of the show, but apparently uh, I remember seeing a clip of this show when Sarah Palin was brought on because they tried to rehabilitate her career in the past as well. And now they're doing it to Rudy Giuliani a little more than a year after he tried to kill democracy here. Apparently all is forgiven. It's time to move on. He only tried to kill democracy. Let's watch him dress up in a funny costume, and, and sing a silly song. Predictable. Completely predictable. I'm only surprised that they haven't invited Trump on yet. But here's the details. This is from Deadline. Exclusive spoiler alert. Rudy Giuliani was unmasked as an exiting costumed contestant in last week's taping of the first season 7 episode of Fox's popular primetime series, The Masked Singer. Deadline hears that as soon as they saw Giuliani, judges Ken Jeong and Robin Thicke quickly left the stage in protest. The show is known for its jaw-dropping surprises when celebrity contestants shed their headpieces after they are eliminated. The reaction to Giuliani was perhaps the most polarizing the show has seen since 2020. The Masked Singer faced criticism then when another controversial Republican politician Sarah Palin was unveiled as the bear. We aren't revealing which costume Rudy wore or what his swan song was. Oh, thank God. Uh, his exit episode won't air until next month. The theme of the new season is the good, the bad, and the cuddly. Your political affiliation determines which category Giuliani fits. Deadline here is that while Jong and Thick exited, they eventually returned. Fellow judges Jenny McCarthy and Nicole Scherzinger remained on stage. They bantered with Giuliani, a controversial figure, for pressing what is widely derided as a baseless claim that the 2020 presidential election was stolen from his client, Donald Trump. Okay, so there's so much in this article that they just breeze over. It seems like Rudy Giuliani isn't the only bad actor here, right? It seems like this show is normalizing all of the shittiest people. Didn't Robin Thicke literally just get accused of groping one of his co-stars from his music video from back in the day? Like, this was three months ago. Am I wrong? He was accused of sexually assaulting someone. So why aren't people walking off with him being there too? Jenny McCarthy is essentially the face of the modern day pre-COVID anti-vaccine movement. She falsely claimed that vaccines cause autism. And that's not just wrong. It's also an effort to stigmatize people with autism, which I very much don't appreciate having friends and family members with autism. So they bring on the shittiest people and... It, they're just okay with it. I mean, are we going to have fucking um, Harvey Weinstein and Bill Cosby come out and duet Adele's Rolling in the Deep? Are we going to have fucking Donald Trump sing Drop It Like It's Hot by Snoop Dogg? Who's next? Why do these television programs do this? That's a question that you're probably asking, and the answer is very simple. Ratings. Bringing on controversial figures, that absolutely drives ratings. We're all talking about it currently. This is making the headlines. So even though they know that Rudy Giuliani is an objectively bad person who just tried to end democracy, they put all of that aside because they know that him being there is going to shock people and bring in ratings. And that's all these networks care about. So they could uh, bring on uh, anyone they want to. And it's essentially going to benefit them, both negative and positive publicity. It's, it's one and the same to them. If they thought that it would actually help them to bring on a mass murderer, they would do that because that's how craven these networks are for ratings. Because when you get high ratings, you can charge more for advertisements. It's um, it's really gross that we accept this as a society. And honestly, I've got to say, you know, I've, I've been hearing so much about cancel culture. I feel like this show has single-handedly defeated cancel culture, has it not? They have Robin Thicke as a co-host, Jenny McCarthy as another co-host, and then they bring on individuals like Sarah Palin and fucking Rudy Giuliani. I think that this show is definitive proof that cancel culture is dead. Because even people like Rudy Giuliani can still get gigs on a national primetime show, The Masked Singer. Jesus Christ. This is the dumbest country on the planet. I mean, why do we accept this? This is just, it's so stupid. Well, wh why are we allowing these people to be rehabilitated? There are so many people in this country who are such shitty people that they should hide their faces in shame. But we have this money-driven society 
where, you know, controversial figures, really bringing them on, normalizing them, rehabilitating their careers, that's good for, that's good for, you know, ratings and revenue. So that's, that's why we do it. So, you know, they should be ashamed of themselves, but they don't give a shit. They don't care. Rudy Giuliani could have successfully stolen democracy and successfully pulled off a coup in 2020, and they still would bring him on. It doesn't matter to them. Again, the bottom line is padding their pockets so they just care about ratings, and this is going to do exactly what they wanted. Drive ratings. It's just, you know, sad because people might forget, oh, wait, isn't that the guy that tried to kill U.S. democracy? Oh, well, you know, he's, he's really funny here. He's personable. Let's humanize them and not talk about all the bad things that they did. He's wearing a goofy mask, and he's dancing and singing. Wow, he's just like me. He's a normal person. But um, reminder, Rudy Giuliani is not a normal person. In fact, I have doubts that he's even human. This motherfucker is bizarre. He leaks black liquid from his head. He might possibly be at least part alien. I don't know. But either way, I mean, I mean he shouldn't be normalized. But we're already rehabilitating his career. And I hate to break it to liberals, but in the same way that the media establishment rehabilitated George W. Bush during the Trump years, the next fascistic Republican that comes along is definitely going to lead to the normalization of Donald Trump as we reminisce about the good old days when we only had to deal with Donald Trump and he was the worst Republican. So just you wait, mark my words, save this video. There will be a time when the media sees that Donald Trump is actually good for ratings and they will rehabilitate his career. He will be normalized. He will be accepted once again by the establishment that formerly loved him in spite of all of the things that he's done. That's just terrible. This is just the way that things work. Bad people... They get pushed to the top like a floating fucking turd. That's that's the way it is, folks. I, I don't know what else to say. It's it's you know, it's a little bit demoralizing, but it's not surprising to anyone. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Cause Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.